Hi, this is Aftab Shivdasani. You're watching IndiaGlitz.com. Yeah, I'm um, I'm playing a, a poet in this film uh, whose name is Jaydev Varma. He's love and lost in the past. He's somebody who's extremely distraught with life. Uh, somebody who's gone through a lot. At the same time, he's one of the best poets this country has ever seen. But because he's disillusioned with life, he um, he's resorted to alcohol. Um, he's kind of wasting his life right now. Doesn't feel the need to live anymore until he comes across um, a very pretty girl under a really uh, mysterious circumstance, and um, he falls in love with her. And of course, she falls in love with him, but she's lost her memory, and she's possessed. So <laughs> it's a catch-22 for him because he doesn't realize she's possessed until he's already in love with her, and then how he decides to try and fight. Yeah, I worked with uh, Vikram um, <coughs> since 2000. And we have a beautiful relationship. We've done eight films together. This is our ninth film. And um, I think we understand each other. That's more that's more important than uh, apart from working from each other, uh, with each other. But um, uh, I think there's a lot of mutual respect also. So he called me one fine day and he said, I'm making a sequel to 1920, which is in the same franchise. And uh, I want to make you listen to the script. And at that time, I was waiting for an opportunity like this at the same time. So it just merged. And ironically, I, I got this film. And I, I never said no because <clears throat> it was a great opportunity to come back and work with Vikram on, on, on a genre that he's actually mastered. Well, almost mastered um, the horror genres. You know, I have done a thriller. I have done intense films. I have done dramatic films. So in terms of performance, yes, it's really intense and it's really dramatic. But I'm not performing the horror, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's Tia Bajpai who's performing the horror. But yeah, it's my reactions to the horror. So <clears throat> that's what we do in action anyway. When we do action films or action sequences, you you know you you act, you act and you react. So there's that certain amount of reaction that you give any which way. But um, I think the whole atmosphere was very eerie. Nothing that I know that happened on the set. So you know any any eerie incident or any uh, any one instance that you remember that you, I got spooked. No, um, it's just that I remember it was really intense, and you cannot drop your emotion at any given point of time have to consistently be intense all the time. But luckily, I was not doing the horror. I think he's evolved beautifully, you know, as a human being. Um, I'm sure he'd be the right person to tell you about his evolution. But um, he's someone who I've uh, who I've always respected, who I've always looked up to, and uh, always asked for advice from time to time whenever I needed it. And he's always given me unbiased um, philosophical, you know, spiritual advice that I needed. And someone who's creatively grown a lot, of course, you can see from his work because that's the biggest uh, evidence, the biggest proof of his evolution. Uh, for me, um, his spirit is always on the sets. Uh, his soul is always on the sets because 1920 Evil Returns has got, you know, a stamp of Vikram but on it. I can't say that. Um, that doesn't mean I'm taking the discredit, the credit away from the director Bhushan Patel. Bhushan Patel is has been a very, very close friend and associate of Vikram but for a very long time. So obviously they know each other very very well you know um, they're in each other's dna as far as i know so he entrusted bushan with this film uh, 3d is is the current um, craze i would say but uh, it's not like films haven't worked in 2d the 99 percent of the films are made in 2d still they have not yet moved on to 3d as much as we imagine them to be but um, i think what's really important is whether you see a film with or without glasses and whether an object is coming towards you or not towards you you will still get scared when you watch 1920 evil returns <laughs> you can see if the camera pan you see tia bachpai's face <laughs> it's not really the most inviting face <laughs> it is it is really scary um no i mean i like i was joking with tia the other day i said um, you know, I'm so used to seeing you like this that when you come in normal face, I can't recognize you. <laughs> so it was really funny. Um, right from the shoot to, uh, you know, the, the publicity shoot that we did, she was, you know, poor thing. She was dressed up like this. And, you know, it's it's embarrassing when you step out of a van like this, you know, and come to the shoot. But uh, she's been amazing. You know, she's, she's absolutely brilliant in the film. Uh, I must say that her role is a very difficult role for any actor, male or female, to perform. Um, and she's done exceptionally well, considering that she's just two or three films old. So um, it is scary. She is scary. You see, with every film that I do, you always hope that the film does well. Um, and 1920 is no exception. It's a film that I have looked forward to. Um, I was away from everything for about two years. But... That also was a conscientious effort. Um, so, of course, I'm extremely excited, extremely anxious. And, of course, I, I need all the blessings of all the viewers and the fans and everybody who watches the film. I mean, I'm always my usual self. You know, when I want to crack a joke, I crack a joke. But sometimes I get really intense. With this film, I had to be really intense. Um, 
because it's a very serious film and you know you couldn't really play pranks on people or you couldn't really laugh and joke all the time because the whole atmosphere on the set is very intense but yeah i think um i would be i would have that honor <laughs> well i'm shooting for a film called grand masti which is a sequel to masti but again it's not a sequel it's also in the franchise of masti so there's no connection to the story of masti and grand masti it's just a three characters uh, that's amar meet and prem that's vivek Uh, Ritesh and myself are the same. The girls are different. The situation is different. The location is different. The time is different.